I've only directly known one transgender person who took her life. She had become homeless, rejected by family, and she lost all hope. <laughs> now, if I can get through it, I will tell you about a trans girl who became famous in death. Now, Leela Alcorn, who I will talk about, never got an opportunity to live as a girl because of her family situation, but to honor her, I'm going to refer to her as she and by her chosen name. Leela was brought up a boy in a conservative Christian family. As a teenager, she told her parents she was transgender. They would have none of it. Leela's parents had her undergo conversion therapy. That's the talk therapy, the process that is supposed to get people thinking right about themselves. It didn't help. It only made matters worse. Leela and her parents were at odds with each other. <laughs> That's putting it mildly. When Leela could only see a dead end to her life, she planned to end her life. But before doing so, she wrote her story. She posted it, timed to go public on the internet for after she did the deed. And then in the middle of the night, she went to Interstate 71 and walked in front of a semi-trailer. Leela was 17 years old. Friends, agree or disagree about everything regarding transgender, we can all agree on this. When we have no hope, we don't have anything. If you still disagree with anyone transitioning, how do you feel about them dying by suicide? 